Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like in the video for some good luck for AMC. If you guys want to see some all-time highs like I did, make sure to please drop a like in the video. I'm super excited to announce that we currently have a few more slots open for our exclusive private trading discord. Inside the discord, you'll find real-time stock picks from yours truly, see all my trades in real time, and chat with other thousands of investors that are constantly posting plays, trades, and more. We even have multiple millionaire investors in there, which you could pick their brain, ask them questions, etc. So make sure you guys join before we close the server again, because we are only letting in a limited amount of people. Click the second link down below in my description to join. All right, guys. So, so far today, AMC opened up pre-market up 10% at $37 plus, almost at that $40 range again. But then since then, we've seen a little bit of a sell-off, now sitting somewhere around 1% to 2% in the green though. But we are starting to finally see some positivity come out in the mainstream media for AMC, which is definitely a positive change from all the FUD that we've been seeing over the last few months. AMC CEO says the theater chain is going on offense with its $2 billion plus in liquidity. Armed with $2 billion in liquidity, the theater chain is seeking out a new cinema leases, investing in upgrades to its current theaters, offering new payment options such as Bitcoin and increasing the variety of its content, offerings to include sports and pre-taped concerts. After enduring 2020, AMC has staved off bankruptcy and is looking to do more than just survive the next few years. The company's CEO, Adam Aaron, says he's going on the offense. Armed with $2 billion in liquidity, which the theater chain garnered the from strategic stock sales last year, AMC is seeking out new cinema leases, investing in upgrades to its current theaters, offering new payment options such as Bitcoin, and offering a variety of different things such as sports and pre-taped concerts. $2 billion is a nice cash for it, Aaron said on Tuesday CNBC, squawking this on the street. It's the biggest we've ever had to play with. And as I said, we're the largest theater operator in the world. We're playing on offense. After scooping up two of the highest grossing Los Angeles-based theaters in July, AMC is in the process of signing more than 10 more leases. To appease its new retail investors, of which there are millions, AMC plans to have technology in place at the end of the year to accept Bitcoin for movie tickets and concessions if paid online. AMC is also looking into partnerships with GameStop to set up gaming events at its theaters. I look at these millions of individual investors who really came on the scene in the last six months. They're the owners of the company, Aaron said. They don't work for me. I work for them. They're my bosses. We are certainly interested in the suggestions that are flowing from the owners of the company. So there we have it, guys. Adam, Aaron, and the team are absolutely crushing it, riding off of all the positivity that AMC has going on right now. And again, like he said, playing on the offense. And speaking of the retail investors who do own AMC, we are seeing the retail investors going hard in AMC once again today. 10,805 buy orders versus 7,805 sell orders. So more buying going on today with AMC than selling. And AMC is the number one position on the Fidelity's orders by Fidelity customers. It's been a while since we've seen AMC at number one because there is a lot going on in the market right now. But AMC is back in that number one spot, which we'd love to see it at. And next up, guys, for the short interest report for AMC, we're looking at 15.84% short interest currently, 93.55% utilization, and 103.35 million shares on loan. Overall, the shorts have still not covered, and until they do, retail investors are not leaving. But if you guys want to stay up to date with everything else going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, please drop a like in this video for some good luck for AMC moving forward here. And lastly, if you guys want to join my private exclusive Discord server, it's a second link down below in my description. But join fast because we are only accepting a few more members. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.